the first song I wrote. Basically, I think music is a way to uh, transpond your emotions to another person, you know, and how you're feeling at the time, you know, blues, rock and roll. Save our lost souls old from the night. I started plucking under my bed when I was about eight years old, and I played reasonably well when I was 16 or 17. And I excelled at it when I was 20. Well, now I'm fired up to see my dad. That's right. On a cold, dark night. Send me somebody that can sit by my lonely sides and be a I was um, very inebriated one night and I was cutting up some kindling with uh, a miter saw and I don't know what happened. Keep a long story short, I accidentally cut my hand off. I uh, express accidentally because people say, oh, you cut your own hand off? <laughs> well, uh, no, nobody else did it for me. I wasn't involved with the mafia or nothing, <laughs> but it was an accident. <laughs> As soon as it healed up, I uh, Look for a, a, a new way to play. Wise, kind, compassionate old pack. He said, boy, don't give up and you lose your hand. Play guitar, so you're proud to be Canadian. What can I say? Everybody's gonna die someday, but I don't I take the mug. <laughs> and we insert it over the cloth to make sure that there's no Moving space, I would press it and like we screw it onto the threads that we carved into our bones ah, during a night of extreme pain. And we go. When I was a young boy, others gathered round. Take case in well wonder. I decide they have found. Heather spoke up. She leave that one alone. She could tell right away. I was bad and bound. Bad and bound. I've had the pleasure of journeying with Henry for the last two and a half years. Yeah, we connected once uh, when he was uh, in a pretty tight bind looking for a place, so we worked together to try and find some housing. So, um, yeah, that's how we met. Henry's uh, his own expert, so I just kind of travel with him and, uh, yeah, when he wants to get something done, try and uh, move the pieces together to, to help him make it happen. Just want a place to stay. <laughs> Guaranteed. Well, I can't take it as much as I used to there. Since I had, uh, found out I had diabetes there, it really wears me down. Eh? Housing is a right. It's a basic right that everyone needs. It's the starting point, it's the building block on which you can go ahead and go to school, get a job, 
feel secure and you know have a community with all the new condos that have gone up a lot of those are being rented out by investment owners but those are certainly not affordable homes so for anyone with low or moderate income the situation is really dire be a temporary shelter for me because I won't last the winter. I'm too much into my illness there to be a, I won't have, I won't, I, it'll, it'll kill me. I know that. I'm not afraid to die because, you know, it's, uh, it's inevitable. We're all going to die sooner or later anyway. I just don't want to go out in a violent way. I just want to, maybe in my sleep, maybe, you know. It's quiet. Sayonara. I even seen him on some of his, uh, you know, when he's not having a good day, and when Henry's not having a good day, it's not a good day. But I've seen when he picks up a guitar and plays to a crowd, he just, uh, yeah, lights up. It's definitely a testament to, the, you know, human uh, resilience too. It's a good way of venting. You know, I could scream and yell at the world, but uh, they don't listen. But when I play, I maybe have a chance to express my ideals.